How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under, and this is exactly who will be your 2023 FIBA World Cup champion. The FIBA organization has released the official power rankings for the 2023 FIBA World Cup. This is nearly as accurate as it gets. For there. You're in the hands of BD. You're going to get the official rankings as accurate as they're going to be, so make sure you stay tuned to see where your country ranks. I'll flash up what FIBA's put as their current rankings, and as you can see, it's terribly wrong. But you already know, the basketball genius, Basketball Down Under, has all the things you need to know on every single team, so let's get right into it. The number one team I have, France. They are a powerhouse. Batum, Fournier, Gobert, and Nando De Colo are a phenomenal team. They've played together, they've got the chemistry, they're taking out the right ones spot so far. They move the ball so nicely and they've looked incredible in warm-up games. Number two, a team that no one would have seen coming, Canada, including myself. When I made a video, I did not think they have it, but they have it. Who is it? Shay Gilgis Alexander. Oh my goodness me. I did not realize how good he would be suited for FIBA basketball. He gets to run his eye, so all his teammates have to do is hit some shots, supported with guys like Jamal Murray, Lou Dort, Kelly O'Linick, Dylan Brooks. Canada looks phenomenal. I can guarantee you, I did not rank them as a good team. I didn't think they had the chemistry, but they are looking phenomenal. Number three, our boys from Australia. Our chemistry, our camaraderie, the team, the leg, everything about it looks phenomenal. Giddy, Patty Mills, Jock Landau, and the team thigh ball off the bench it's a well-rounded team and the chemistry is gonna carry us throughout then you'll see the americans at number four usa i don't like their roster it's nothing that fantastic it's very versatile it's very strong yet at the same time it is certainly not the best team there and they have no chemistry they barely played together and in the games they played against the usa select team in warm-up games the us have not looked that fantastic number five is simply because of one player slovenia and i'm telling you luka Doncic is gonna lead that team he is built for FIBA. He played in European basketball all of his life until he got to the NBA. He knows exactly what he's doing. Literally, all his teammates have got to do is get that ball on a silver platter because the passes he's making are phenomenal and shoot that ball. They make their shots. Luka makes a few buckets, creates for others. Slovenia's going to be doing better than anyone we think. Luka's just got to be able to stay healthy and fit enough for the whole series. Coming in at number six from Deutschland, we have Germany. Dennis Schroeder, the Wagner brothers, Daniel Tice. They've got enough firepower to compete with the best of the teams. And once again, they've played with each other a fair bit. Schroeder as well well, knows how to play in that FIBA type of basketball. He's going to be a very strong leader and possibly a top five player in the whole comp. A very, very big smoky heat Dominican Republic led by none other than Carl Anthony Towns. I am so excited to see that their first game versus the Philippines. Going to be phenomenal to see how he matches up with Kai Soto. Chris Duarte backing him up as that scoring guard. Scoring guards know what they're doing in the World Cup. They're going to be a team to see that I would not have seen coming. They've got some serious firepower with Kat. Teams 8 to 13 are all European squads. And you might be wondering, why is Greece so low? Why is Spain so low? Well, their two best players have got injured. Greece, Giannis, not playing, not healthy enough. I respect it, though. Not like a Ben Simmons not playing because he doesn't want to. Simply, his body is not up to it, and that's fair enough. Spain's Ricky Rubio, very surprising. He's taking time off for personal issues. Mental health is no joke, but he loves playing for Spain, so it must be pretty serious if he's missing that. Coming in at rank 14, none other than the home team, Philippines. They are going to be an unbelievable unbelievable team playing at home in front of the roaring Gillas crowd. I can tell you, Philippines, they've got the foul power in Kai Soto and Jordan Clarkson. They might be able to lead their team further than we think, and that home crown advantage is going to be huge. Rank 15, we've got Brazil. They've got a handful of NBA players that are at that lower level to carry them and support them through the World Cup. Next, we've got led by Kristaps Porzingis, Latvia. They could be better than we expect. Simply just depends on how dominant is Kristaps Porzingis going to be. Is his stroke going to convert in the World Cup? I think so. These European guys know what they're doing. They are then followed by Mexico. Mexico, an interesting roster. How are they going to do? I'm not too sure. Don't think they'll be too strong, but Juan Toscana Addison could lead them to some more victories than we expect. Followed by Mexico, we have China. Now, China is a very interesting country, to be honest with you. They could finish a lot higher or a lot lower, depending on their chemistry, how they play as a team, how their talent plays individually. Definitely plays a part on how they go. Currently, I've got them sitting right there. Could they be higher? Could they be lower? Yes, but we're going to have to wait and see. Zuki, Heil, Anderson, big additions to the team. They might be able to be very, very strong. Next lot's in a very interesting team, South Sudan. Once again, also could be a lot higher or a lot lower. First time they've ever tried to make a World Cup and first time they've ever qualified. One from one, amazing feat nonetheless. They are led by Wenyan Gabriel. And if you've ever watched the Lakers game, you know that guy has 
certainly some incredible defense and the rest of the team is going to follow. If they can convert that full court pressure, create a lot of turnovers early on, make themselves a force, a team that makes teams scared, they could be a team that goes a long way and much further than we expect. We then have cross the ocean rivals for Australia and New Zealand. I'm not gonna lie, they played in some warp games and just could not match with the star power of these big time teams. They played Canada and got absolutely schmiced. Simply just don't have enough power and stars to match it with the best. We then have Japan coming in, another host country. Don't have Rui Hachimara. That's a massive loss and that is why they've dropped so far down. He was going to be a key piece, but instead they're going to be relying on guys like a Yuri Baba, Yuto Watanabe. Will they be good enough to lead them to a few wins? Yes. But will they be good enough to lead them to a big time win? I don't know about that. Once again though, the home crowd will be huge. Coming in at 23, we have a South American in Puerto Rico. They played Team USA. They had a few serious hoopers on the squad, but I don't think they're going to be able to get enough wins in their pools to take their game to another level. To round out the last 24 teams, we have Montenegro, Georgia, Venezuela, Egypt, Jordan, Angola, Lebanon, Iran, Cape Verde, Ivory Coast. If you are a fan or viewer from any of those countries, credit to you. Congratulations on your team making the World Cup. But unfortunately, I don't want to be that guy. If you're not going to be that much of a power house in the world cup you might get a win here or there but if you're ranking in 24 to 32 unfortunately i don't think you're gonna be champion this time round. and that rounds up my rankings you already know i've put in a lot of research if you couldn't tell dumping in names dumping in stats to give you guys the most accurate rankings possible as you know i know everything about basketball i live and breathe it so i love looking at the world cup all the global teams it's very exciting to see very interesting that my power rankings were very different to the fiba official rankings but mine had a lot more thought and reasoning as to why those were the rankings. But let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Rank all 32 teams below. I read every single comment. I'm keen to see what you guys have to say. I'm keen for this World Cup. I've got some massive things in store. Let's be honest, this could be breaking point for BD. If it goes good, you might see more of me. If it goes bad, fortunately, you might see less of me. So I hope to see more of you. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch us later.